Yes, in this short tutorial, I'll be talking about the lymphatic drainage of the urinary bladder. And we get to see that the lymphatic drainage of the urinary bladder actually follows the arterial supply, okay? Because you know that the arteries around this side, we have the external iliac artery, and here we have the external iliac lymph nodes. Then we have the internal iliac artery, and here we have the internal iliac lymph nodes, okay? So we'll just talk it and we'll relate the whole thing, okay? And you guys will understand the whole concept. Okay, so in this lecture, our focus is discuss the lymphatic drainage of the urinary bladder, okay, which are basically the internal iliac lymph nodes and the external iliac lymph nodes, okay? So um, while the lymphatic of the urinary bladder follows the arteries by draining backwards to the internal and the external in uh, iliac lymph nodes, the veins of the bladder do not follow these arteries, okay? So the veins of the bladder form a complex plexus and pass okay and passes backwards to end in the internal iliac veins. Okay, uh, let's go over again. Okay, basically the lymph nodes follow the arterial supply. Why the veins do not follow the arterial supply? They rather form a complicated plexus and they drain back into the internal iliac veins. Okay, so like I already explained. Um, we have similar vessels around the urinary bladder known as the external iliac artery. And here we have the external iliac lymph nodes too at the same uh, position where the external iliac arteries are. Okay, that's why we say that they follow the arterial supply. Okay, then here we have the internal iliac lymph nodes too. And um, the same thing around uh, the, the bladder, we have the internal iliac arteries too. Okay, that's to say that. These uh, lymph nodes also follow the arterial supply at this side, okay? So that's it about the lymphatic drainage of the urinary system. Next, I'll be seeing you guys in the venous drainage of the urinary system. I'll see you guys. Bye.